Hey YouTubers, Scott with Alpha TV here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a link aggregation group for your Synology network attached storage. And we'll talk about why you want to do this, and then we'll talk about how to do this. Now in terms of the why, the reason to create a link aggregation group on your Synology NAS, if it has the ability to do so, is so that you can transfer network files from multiple points at over 50 to 80 megabytes per second. Um, my DS1512 Plus is capable of doing about 185 megabytes per second once I enabled uh, bonding on its interfaces. But in order to do that, there's going to be a couple of things that you have to do. And the first thing is that you're going to have to find a managed switch, what's called a managed switch. You can't use an unmanaged switch and create a link aggregation group on an unmanaged switch to accomplish this goal. So you're going to want to go out to eBay. The one that I'm using is this one right here. It's a GSM 7224V2 uh, from Netgear. Uh, it's not an incredibly expensive switch used. You can get it for under $200, I think, on eBay. Um, and it does a wonderful job of, uh, of cr you can create VLANs, you can create trunk members, lag. You can do all sorts of things with this switch that make it a nice addition uh, to your home network. And it's extremely fast. Um, in terms of the GSM 7224V2, uh, you're going to want to log into that if that's what you happen to be using, and you're going to want to click on the switching tab, and you're going to want to go to lag, and as you can see here, I have a lag group called NAS LACP or NAS Link Aggregation Control Protocol, and when I click on that, basically the only thing that I've done here is created a lag name and I'm using the default hash mode and admin mode, STP mode are enabled, link trap and static mode are disabled. And then when I select unit 1, I'm selecting ports 23 and 24. Uh, that's at the end of this particular switch um, and that is where the Synology DS1512 is connected. So once this, done, you'll, once this is complete, you want to hit apply and now when you go into ports on your Netgear GSM7224 switch, you should see that you have two um, two ports that are members of a trunk and you'll see that they're both showing 1000 megabits per second and you'll see that uh, um, everything here is showing us to be enabled um, and everything's looking great. The next step is to go into your NAS and if we go to the control panel and we go to the info center we can see here that this particular NAS is a DS1512 Plus, which is a couple of years old, but still a very usable, very, very fast NAS. Uh, and once again, I can copy files up to 185 megabytes uh, per second um, from multiple points on my network. I, I can't do that for one machine, obviously, because you have that limitation on your gigabit port. But for multiple points on the network, um, I can do that. Now, some of you may have... Um, motherboards that have two gigabit ports and you may have the ability to bond those interfaces using Intel software or Marvel software uh, and you may be able to copy files at that rate if you have a solid state drive but for me I have a motherboard with one gigabit port so um, I have to test my NAS uh, using a, a program called NAS Tester uh, which you can find for free online by the way and um, and I, I launched that on uh, several different machines at the same time um, and I test the NAS that way to make sure that my link aggregation is working as expected. So um, to set it up on the NAS, keep in mind it's done on the switch, your managed switch. Now, now we're going to go to our network attached storage device and we're going to go into the control panel and we're going to select network. And here we're going to select the network interface tab. One of the things that I've seen people do is they, they get confused about which option to select in their link aggregation mode. And with network fault tolerance, um, that is not going to bond the interfaces. Basically, you have two interfaces. One is going to be a hot standby. If you have one network interface that fails, then the second one will automatically come online and, it will, and you can route data through that interface and the NAS takes care of that for you not really useful in this in this particular case I want to be able to bond the gigabit interfaces and I want to be able to copy files really fast to my network attached storage device so in this case I'm selecting IEEE 802.3 AD dynamic link aggregation and once that is done 
and you've selected the interfaces, you can click OK. Now, once that is complete, you'll want to test your network attached storage and verify that you are in fact able to copy files uh, from multiple points or if you have a motherboard with bonded interfaces and you've set up a, a bonded interfaces on your managed switch as well uh, you can try copying files at greater than 100 megabytes per second to your network attached storage. Um, once again I'll leave links in the video for both the Synology NAS uh, and the Netgear GSM 7224 V2 which has been a very it's been a bulletproof switch for me I've had it for a couple of years now and I bought it used off of eBay and that is basically all you need in order to use uh, link aggregation on your Synology so I hope this was helpful have a good day